Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and you are watching Growing Green. So today's video is going to be all about kitting out my greenhouse with all the accessories that it needs. That includes flooring, shelving, shade cloth, absolutely everything. We're gonna put a fogging machine in here and like a system along the roof. It's gonna be so fantastic. So yeah, we hope you enjoy this video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below and make sure to check out my previous video, which I'll link up here, which is us building the greenhouse. But um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. The first thing we're gonna start off with is paving. As you can see, we've already made a little bit of pre-progress. So this is gonna be the path down the middle and we're gonna pave a little bit at the back as well. And this is going to be uh, metal or pebbles. And then we're gonna put the shelves and everything along here. So uh, yeah, let's get started by putting the sand down. everyone it is now a couple of months later I think or a month or so yeah but today is the 2nd of February and today we are testing out as you can see the shade cloth and the heating and cooling system to see how it works so as you can see we have put the shade cloth over the roof of the greenhouse this is just temporary we will obviously fix it down properly and at the moment my husband is inside and he is working on the cooling and the misting system this is just temporary by the way hi smelly Hi! Hi! Just woke up from a nap. Just woke up from a nap. Hi! Hi! Arr! Arr! Terrifying! Okay. Alright, plug her in. Then starts. It might take like 10 or 20 seconds, but. Oh, here we go. <laughs> hey. hey! Okay, we disconnected the pipes and now just actually blowing it over the floor, which looks really cool. Um, but this boosted up the humidity. Okay, so it's a many few hours later now, it's in the evening, it's just after seven o'clock, and we think we've figured out the misting system. Look at that, look how cool this is. Hi Nell, hi Nell, come here. I'm here, come come on. Come on. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so we've removed it from these pipes down the middle, I mean, this looks cool, but it wasn't really getting enough humidity. It was getting it like 50% maybe max, but Look we've done this. this. Yeah. like in 10 minutes. So this is how it is now. It's just coming straight out of the box. Look at that after 10 minutes. That's way better. That's exactly what we want. So um, we're going to be returning all of this piping, I think. <laughs> I think so. I think so. And just going with this. Okay, so it's now about, what, 10, 15 minutes later? <laughs> and it's so foggy in here! Find me! Like, he's literally gone! Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool! Look at that! That's so cool! Look at that! <laughs> Whoa! So today is the 7th of February and we are finally going to be putting up the shade cloth 
Um, we've been doing a bit of testing over the last couple of weeks in regards to temperature and we think it's good to go. So now we're just gonna attach it to the greenhouse. So we finally finished wiring in the greenhouse as you can see the pipe goes in here into our garage um, So yeah, now we're gonna fill in the big trench Okay, so now that has been filled up as you can see the electrical is coming out there And I'll show you where it goes to in the greenhouse in a second and now We are digging for the water pipe um, by we I mean he <laughs> um, I'm doing some other stuff at the moment, but he is Diligently digging aren't you? Yeah this is where the tank is and then the hose is going to go underground along here and then again into the greenhouse. So back in the greenhouse now as you can see in this corner here this is where the electrical pipe is coming up and will the water go to the same spot? And the water will come out there so it's pretty much the same location as the electrical. And then we're going to just pipe it along the wall here and this is where it's all going to stay. So we've taken the shade cloth down because we found out after doing a lot of testing that it just wasn't cutting it. So we got a new one, but it's actually a tarpaulin. We'll see how that works. Okay, so this is the one we're going to be putting up. It's from Bunnings. It's green on one side, silver on the other, and um, hopefully it's going to do a much better job of keeping out the sun. So, yeah, let's do it. Hot. Okay, so this is going to be the final update for this video. As you can see, the shade cloth is on. Well, the shade tarp is on. I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of the greenhouse and the stage that it's at. And then, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. So let's come in a little bit closer. So as you can see, the shade cloth is actually a tarpaulin. Now, this seems a little bit extreme, but this side of the greenhouse gets blaring hot sun all day. And it was getting to about 45 plus degrees every single day inside so we really needed a harsh um, sun blocker and this is the only thing that cut the cut the mustard. We've attached it at the bottom here with a bit of bungee cord and some hooks um, just so it is removable during winter. Hi Smelly. Smelly. <laughs> Zoomies. So I'll bring you around the other side as well and as you can see down here it is again attached by bungee cord and hooks crazy nut it just makes it nice and removable for winter outside as you can see here we have a vent and a solar panel the solar panel is for a light that is on the inside here I'll show you in a minute and the vent is for a fan that's on the inside which I will also show you in a minute so with this front on view of the greenhouse as you can see there is a big system in the back and I'm gonna go in and tell you exactly what that's all about so this is what the system looks like on the inside. The grate is on the outside and the solar panel is up there. So this is a fan that takes air out and this is obviously the solar light that comes on at night. And yes, it is a little bit dark in here, um, but I'm going to be putting grow lights in here. Hi now. Oh, <laughs> got that on camera. When it's sunnier, it is actually quite bright in here. So, um, miss, hello. Hello, miss, excuse me. Come here. Come here, come, come Nelly, N Nelly. So this is the system that's in the back of the greenhouse. It is quite a system, um, built from a standard Bunnings rack, as you can see. This top bit here, this is full of wires, and as you can see here, we have three sensors. So these sensors obviously detect how cool it is, how hot it is, and the humidity levels, and they're automatic switches. So when the sensors, two of which are here and one inside, hit a certain point, it will turn part of the system on or off, whether it needs to be cooled or humidified, and it also is attached to the fan that's at the front of the greenhouse. And on a day like today, it's really not needed, hence why it's off, it's nice and cool in here, it's 25 degrees and it is 62% humidity, which is good enough, I mean, there's no plants in here anyway. So yeah, that is where we are at with the greenhouse at the moment. Um, I'm gonna make this a two-part series because it's getting a little bit long and we still have quite a little bit to do, so make sure to stay tuned for that next video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. It lets me know what content you guys like to see. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Also make sure to hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload again. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.
Bye.